Alright, so the first section in this chapter, chapter 10 on probability, is we're dealing with relative frequency graphs. And you can see this section actually has a learning target that goes with it. We're going to ask you guys to create and interpret a relative frequency graph. Um, let's first just get this definition down. Um, a relative frequency graph, and you can put this in your own words if you'd like to, is a data display, um, usually in a bar graph or a circle graph, that compares the number in each category to the total for all the categories. So what makes it different than a regular bar graph or circle graph is that relative frequency shows a fraction or a percent rather than the actual value. So if you take a look down here, I have two kind of examples here. This would be... Um, a, a, a normal bar graph. They, we have number of times each week a teenager is reminded to do chores. So this is the how many times they are reminded. So they are reminded zero times, two people had that response. Um, one reminder went with, it looks like five people had that response. Two reminders looks like eight people had that response and so on. A relative frequency graph has the percent um, so here, and I'm sorry, these aren't the same kinds of graphs, but raisins in a box. There were 25 raisins in the box. It looks like 6% of the time, okay? And 26 raisins in the box went with maybe 12%. So that's taking the um, number that occurred out of the total number there. So um, we could add up all the students here, um, or all the teenagers, and then say, okay, two out of all of the total would be the relative frequency for a number of reminders being zero. Um, so that's just the difference there between relative frequency and regular frequency tables and graphs. So let's look at an example. We have Randy, he's been asked to create a graphical um, display showing the distribution of the library's collection in six categories. So we have children's fiction, children's nonfiction, adult fiction, nonfiction, media, and other, totaling for 199,659 items, okay? So first we want to find the relative frequency of each um, different category. So to do that, we're going to take um, the number of items in that category and divide it by the total, so 199,659, all right? So if we do that, that will give us the decimal value, if I clear this off here, so we need 35994 divided by 199659. And that will give us 0 0.18027. So 0 0.18027. All right, and so I've actually um, gone ahead and figured out all those ratios. So we have all of these decimal values, and you know that when you um, have a decimal, you take it times 100 to get your percentage. So this would be 18%. We'll round to the nearest percent, and this would be 14%. And then we have 24%, um, 35%, we'll round up there. 6% will round up there, and 3% rounding up again. And I believe that gets us to a total of 100%. Okay? So those are the relative frequency. 18% of the library's items are children's fictions. 35% are adult nonfiction. Okay? Yes, you can't really tell what goes with what there. Um, and then that smallest percent, 3% are other materials. Okay, out of the total. So what we do there then is we on the side here we have a um, our percent and notice that it doesn't go up to um, a hundred percent because if we went up to a hundred percent we'd only have one bar that went all the way up there. It goes up and it looks like it goes up to 35 percent which works out nicely because our highest percentage is 35. Um, so we're going to take and children's fiction is going to be at 18 percent so we're going to make a bar that's at 18% there, okay? And I actually have gotten um, the one from the book. So we have our 18% in children's fiction, our 14% in children's nonfiction, and sometimes you'll see these written right on there. Um, you'll see 18% written right on there, or 14%. Then we have 24, our largest is 35, 6, 
and 3%. So that would be a graphical um, display showing the relative frequency in the different categories. All right, I want to touch quickly on how this would transfer to a circle graph. Um, we have our percentages here, and you've seen these before, like a pie chart um, breaking down the percentages. But I want to actually talk to, about how do we decide um, how big each slice is. We know it's 18%, but we have to talk about a circle here, and a, a circle has 360 degrees all the way around. So if we want to know um, how big, without estimating, to make each slice, or how big or how, how small, what they've done here is they've given us the degree of this angle right here, um, of this slice of pie. And to get that, they took 18% of 360, or 0.18 times 360. And I believe they get 64.9 something, but rounds up to 65 degrees of the circle. So that's kind of how you transfer to a pie graph there, and you'll see that in investigation for this section. Moving on, if we um, select at random a book from the library, what are our chances of this book being adult fiction? So adult fiction media, we're going to look at any children's book and any type of book. So the way we look at this is we can look at it in three different ways, and you might remember this from seventh grade. Um, we have adult fiction being 24% of of our um, of our pie, so we'd have twenty four percent is one way to write that. Okay, so twenty four percent, or we can write that as a fraction twenty four out of one hundred, which would equal um, twelve out of fifty, which would equal six out of twenty five. Okay, so this is one way to write it. This is one way to write it. Or we could also write it as the decimal 0.24. Those, that's the um, chances that a book will be adult fiction from the library. Okay, if we just select it at random. So if we looked at media, media is 6%. So 6% would be 6%. Or 6 out of 100 which would equal 3 out of 50, or 0 0.06. So those are our three categories there. Any children's book, so any children's book would include children's fiction and children's nonfiction. So that means we're going to take 18 plus, was it 14 there, out of 100. So that's 32 out of 100. And so that is 8 out of 25 or 0.32 or 32 percent. So all of those would give us the percentage of getting any children's book and then any type of book I see that all of these are books and only media and other are not books. Media and other 6 and 3% gives us 9%, so 100% minus 9% is going to give us 91% or 0.91 or 91 out of 100. All right, uh, so that is going to be our second example. And then before class, why don't you guys take a look? Chloe bought a small package of, of candies described in exercise five. You don't have to worry about exercise five. It doesn't really um, go with this question. And counted the number of each. Her count is shown in the table below. So you have the total oranges, yellows, blues, reds, greens, and browns. You are asked to construct a relative frequency bar graph of Chloe's package candies. Remember, you're going to need a total.